still haven't checked it. I want to check it with my. Uh, I'm going to plug them in because I believe I'm about ready to turn it on. Uh, the vent pipe, I, I want to uh, get my endoscope camera and look up. It's got a light on it, and it's about 10 feet long, a real stiff cable. I should be able to get it up well, close to the roof here, and then maybe that'll be enough to see to the top. There's still going to be another, I don't know, maybe close to 10 feet. Not quite that much, maybe, before it gets all the way up there. But I want to make sure there's not a bird's nest in there. I can't get on the roof anymore. Can't hardly st stay standing on the ground. Uh, and and if I can see if it's clear, because I'm I'm worried that that may be what's going on and what ruined the uh, the heating element in the first place. But it was really old. I've got pictures of the whole dryer you know every part that i could that i have ever took apart and, and anyway uh, it was saggy on some of the last some of the pictures i took from quite several i'm not quite sure how old they are the pictures but uh well the last time i worked on it was two years ago so you know but i think they're way older than that maybe 10 years ago so uh okay uh yeah, here's. I need to put the dryer screen in there. Let's see if there's any. Sounds good. Still, I thought I had gotten. There's a penny that came out. You know, these deals, they have little space under them. Oh, no. I meant to. Uh, well, I can still do that. Those runner things, uh, I got to looking at the uh, the tumbler makers, the the, the runners that uh, you know make the clothes tumble. They, uh, I, I was, when I was putting the the hitch ball on that drum, had it out, I thought, oh, to check to make sure those are all tight, and. Uh, you know, I did this earlier and it was worked really well. I two two of these small screwdrivers. I'll watch it not work. <laughs> there we go. I guess that's what I ended up. I don't think that other left side was actually classed down good. Oh yeah, my, my uh, bracket stops it from going all the way. It got raised up just a hair when I screwed that on there. But that shouldn't have stopped this from clasping. If anything, it'd make it clasp better. But usually I have to get them off. Uh, I get this one off on this side. Usually I just guess I go to it first because I'm right-handed. And uh, then I'm having to fiddle... Hold this one up and fiddle with that one. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, well, this one here will be fine for that. I'm going to put that little ball in my pocket. Then when I'm later on, I'll find it and play with it. Okay. The one that was on there was the right size, so... One of those is loose enough you can really shake it. So now you could take it off if I could find out which one is the one. I'd be tempted to do that. I sure don't like listening to it rattle. There we go. And there's a missing there's a missing one on every one of them, but it looks there's no uh, wear marks, witness marks. So I think that it never was. Never was one on any of them. But yeah. Hopefully, I haven't found one really loose yet. I should have counted them, I guess. Well, when I get to the ones that don't need tightening, I'll know I'm around. Oh, there she blows. Right there. That should fix it. I wonder if that's the one with the... 
I don't know which one, but one of them had probably has a piece of change in it. But a penny came out, and I thought, oh, and it wasn't rattling right after it came out. It's sitting in the floor. It was the instant I got it back up in here, it started banging again. But every, see, it does it more than, you don't even have to go a full revolution for it to make that noise, and it really is aggravating. Okay. But, uh, let's see. What else have I got going? Oh, so I've got it all back together. The only screws left are some that I replaced with new ones. There's one that I'm kind of wondering about. I don't remember where it went to. Doesn't really look like one that, uh, I don't know what it came from. There, I think that left side just wasn't down good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't think I have any missing screws. I think that's just one of the ones I replaced, and I don't remember. Yeah, this light needs to come out of there now because it's, it's hanging on that exhaust pipe. Well, I'm not going to hook it up right now because I haven't looked in it yet. But uh, I'm not going to try to look in it right now. I'll have to. I don't. I would have a way of making a video of it. Uh, I can. But I haven't got everything set up right to do it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to plug it into a laptop and. And uh, if I had the Wi-Fi driver installed on it for running Domain Linux on the laptop, it's actually my web server from my website the last couple of years. Ironic, I have a real server now, and I haven't, I'm going to set it up in a virtual machine, but I haven't done it yet. I was kind of waiting because I already want to upgrade it. I got Fedora 32 on the server, and 33 came out last summer. And uh, I kind of didn't want it right at first. I, was, I think it was that one I put 32 on it, but... I wanted to wait for him to get more bugs out of it before I started with it. But they come out with the upgrade every year, so if you wait, like I do, what I usually do is do it once every four years or so. I just set Firefox to all, up, all, update automatically, independent of the package manager, and uh, straight from the Firefox you know, servers. And so it stays up to date. That's the main point for you to get in trouble, you know. Get in, in fact, get <coughs> malware and stuff is through the web browser. Well, only email, but <coughs> okay. So what I'm thinking no. <coughs> well, no. I was grabbing something. I have some old bathroom rugs that I set on the chairs just for uh, these old chairs. If there's one over there. I uh, can't see it now, but they're just so dirty now. Uh, I don't want to put something sandy or dirty in here, but I do want to run it. What I think I'm going to do is wash the bathroom rugs and those rugs and uh, <clears throat> and then dry them because it's going to have to go through at least one cycle to make sure all that i think it's going to it, that stuff stinks and it's going to stink up whatever clothes you put in there so i want something that it doesn't matter if it gets some stink up on it but i'm gonna let's see make sure we look like we're still working yeah i'm gonna turn it on and uh you see that is everything's working <clears throat> <coughs> Yep, there aren't any loose runner, any loose tumblers in there now. There we go. Yeah, I hear that little clanking. That is that piece that's in one of those runners. I didn't realize that you can actually just, I wouldn't, I hadn't thought about it. Uh, 
you can open the lid and take them, those things off. Of course, I'm sure there'd be a pain to get back on there if you took them all the way out. Maybe I could just loosen them till they come, you know, till it comes off about a half inch, and then maybe it would fall out. <coughs> Run it, turn it on. I can kind of smell it a little bit, but the air doesn't feel warm yet. Cool as it is out here, it might take a little longer to... I don't like it blowing in my face. I'm gonna stop it for a minute and see if it's warm on the inside. Yep, yeah, it's hot, getting hot. Just as cooler out here, I think. Yesterday it was heating up so much, so fast, that I was scared I'd damage the heating element, you know, with nothing in it. But I think I'm ready to uh, do my first drying, like I said. Uh, but I'm, I, because of that, Okay, I'm going to do what uh, the last thing pro thing it was doing, and I think it was because, believe it or not, I, I, I mean, I saw so many reasons why, okay, when it was, you do that. You have it running, you open the door, and you shut. We do that all the time. You know, you got some time left, open the door, get your stuff out, and leave it. It never used to come back on, the heat. It was just the heat would come back on. I just saw some, uh, some of my plastic that didn't come off of there. And... Uh, it was doing that the day I came out. Well, I had reports of it, and then when I came out to work on it, it did it three or four times um, before I got, you know, really ready to work on it. There we go. That's part of my plastic bag. It's actually a part of a label that was on that. It was a shipping bag. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's not coming back on, heating up or anything. Uh, the heating uh, element being bad can actually cause that. Well, uh, when I, it was still, yeah, okay, it was still doing that. It was heating up, and when, and when I started working on it, and uh, well, I worked on it, I think I might have, I worked on it either a long time one day or two days, trying to, I think I tested on it one day, and then came back and finally took, yeah, and then came, finally took it apart. And uh, as soon as I got it apart, I saw the heating, heating element was bad. And uh, so what I figured out was, and I, because of evidence when I saw it, a, a ring, one of the ring, half of, three quarters of a, a coil, it, there were just pieces of it everywhere and, and a long piece broken off. And, well, the long place it was about so long broken off was in pieces. And so, but uh, it looked like what it had done is, broken off over here close to the connection and then fell down and welded itself or spot welded itself to the to the uh, plate that it mounts on because that's grounded you know and then it's and so then it was still heating that was what it was doing it was still heating for a long time but uh not like it should it was taking two hours to dry a load of clothes and it it does go up to two hours, so you could do it without having to come back and restart it. But uh, uh, then it just quit heating altogether. The day that I looked at it, it, it was the day that it quit heating altogether. So what I think happened is, I'm, I'm getting in circles, what I think happened is that that piece that had fought well had just disintegrated, the re, you know, came, not didn't disintegrate, but broke up into rings, basically. And... Uh, so then there was no no ground, so it didn't heat anymore. So it went from a 220 dryer to a 110 dryer to a no dryer. And uh, but anyway, I went from uh, well the high limit thermostat I knew was working. I saw it working when it was doing that. That's what I'm throwing me in circles now because I remember when I came out here, it was heating. It was turning on until the high limit thermostat would even with it time on it and the door had been opened and shut like it is right now. It would heat up until, and you could feel it getting really hot right here and on the back, until the high limit thermostat would shut it off. 
and it did it three times pretty quick so there's no telling how many times it had done that when we didn't know it and uh but then when you would turn it on heat it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, come on yeah it, but anyway i finally saw i thought you know the high limit thermostat the regular thermostat uh some newer models the even the uh the thermistor in the in the heating in the uh, exhaust circuit could cause uh, heating problems you know uh, whether it was heating or not this one i bought one years ago i don't know if, i still don't know if it's the right one it might be a newer model that's supposed to work but uh bought one from the same place that uh, uh can't think repairclinic.com they're real good about with videos and instructions and stuff and uh but once uh, and anyway and then i went to the timer and i thought maybe it's the timer causing that crazy behavior and then uh after i'd already taken it apart i think no maybe it's before that uh, anyway i finally saw something that, that showed said that the heating element uh being broken or something i can't remember the details anyway the heating element could be the cause of it doing that you know coming on like that even i mean it was off uh the door switch works it goes off uh, but it seemed like if you turn it too off then it wouldn't do that but it might uh it it may have been doing that too uh, it's still not tight you know what i think the uh oh it's coming off now this is fine uh where's my magnifying glass yeah it's made a real good uh how close i should get sometimes i can do that let's see on the camera and it actually does help sometimes it's like when there's reflections and stuff it doesn't work yeah like right now but anyway you can probably see good enough to see that it it's a half round so oh no no it's why this thing ain't doesn't wobble it's still wobbling i don't know why looks like it wouldn't yeah that grease that i put on there to to keep it from uh sticking to the it see that was gray but the grease was that wheel bearing grease i put on there was red <laughs> so it stained it i mean there's still a bunch of it on there which really doesn't matter but but I stuck my epoxy putty in there and then shoved it on there. Well, it's okay to know that it will come off when you if you need it off. But I, it's still not as... T it, it was started out real tight. But just after a few turns... T today. After a few turns of the knob, it's, uh, it's already being a little loose again. Not like it was. It was moving. And it didn't move right when you turned it right, you know, the, which is the way you're supposed to turn it. But it moved when you turned it left. Let's see. Flat spot that way. Okay. It's moving about a half inch. But that's okay. It works. Uh, I only I looked and looked for knobs and only and I've done it a few times over the years. But I looked a lot this time because I was looking at parts anyway. And I finally found one that looked like that one. I wouldn't find any that looked anything like it and uh, still doesn't guarantee that see that that slot needs to be in the, the half round hole needs to be in the right position so that this lines up and uh, I really didn't see any way to tell that unless you knew unless they said it's for your model and I didn't know my model number for sure so uh, I do now it's right there I need to, I still haven't gotten a picture of it. I think it's probably what happened last time I finally discovered where it was and I thought, oh, well, I don't need a picture of that. It's right there. And then I forgot where it was again because I looked all around this thing, all around the back and the inside and everywhere, but right there. Just like your Chevy, it's in the door. Everything you need to know, except for the, will it? See, does it? No, I don't think it tells Yeah, I think it does tell you what motor came with it anyway. But if you're like me, you might have swapped the motor at least once. I used to... What was it? 
I don't remember. Oh, we, I, I, when I was, I started with that uh, problem in high school. The, I always had fun with it, though. My 64 Chevelle came with a 256 cylinder, and I got rid of that as quick as I could, and I got a 350 in it. And so when I'd go to get parts, they'd say, what is it, 64 Chevelle? And they'd start wanting to look it up. And I, and I and back in the 70s and 80s, you could just go in and say, tell the guy, you know, I need a need spark plugs for a 350. Well, I always knew what spark plugs I wanted, but certain part, you know, I want something, something for a 350 Chevy. And they didn't go say what, they'd go get it. They didn't go get in a book or a computer. There were no computers for them to use back then. And and say what what now they can't look up a part for a car unless you tell them the what kind of body it is you know and it's like I try uh, and you know in the two thousands and the late nineties I'd be like what car is it and I said well it's I'd tell them it's three fifty Chevy seven I go well seventy six Blazer three fifty Chevy and they start trying to look it up and of course their books didn't even go that far back by the, by the, I don't know at least two thousand and anyway. Uh, they can't look up. They can't look up parts without you no know, looking up through the body. You know the bo the body, the model number. You know of the body and all that. Not the model number, but the style. You know and all that. Okay, what am I gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff in the washer. I'm, I can move. See the reason I didn't go. I was started. I came out here and I was gonna. Get that washing pre-washed, you know, so that I could throw it right in there. And uh, then I looked around here, and I, and I was like, well, the only place I got to put my... Uh, I'll get it, and you'll see it. The only place I've got to put my... Uh, where to put that? There we go. My remote for my camera. Tools, more tools. Okay. Uh, Now I'm having trouble knowing where to put the stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have. Oh, maybe we do. Oh, that's heavy. Whew, I said, I don't know why that happened. The instant I picked that up, oh, I got really dizzy and felt like I was about to pass out. And I don't think it has anything to do with that. But it is pretty heavy for me nowadays. Uh, um, but I was prepared for it to be heavy. I'm, well, all it, what it is is this stuff used to be, we used to have all this junk just sitting on the dryer. Okay, bleach. Yeah, I wanted some bleach to, to bleach those white rugs and stuff. Um, Trying to figure out where to put stuff. There's some things in here that are really, really short, and they really do m confuse matters. You know, you can't see it. They're in the back, and you can confuse matters. What is that? Oh, golf tees. There's a little... <laughs> now, I have no idea why this is in here. I guess it was sitting on the dryer, and it's been now in this box for years. This box needs to be retired. There's a nice box right there that we haven't thrown away yet. I wonder what size it is. Anyway, it it doesn't need to be here, but it's not mine, and so it just stays there. And I, I haven't moved it. Let's see. Well, let me get the... I think the box may be too big. That one really is in bad shape. Let me grab it and see before I forget. I know it's kind of not part of the video but will it fit oh it's perfect width I think I'm gonna swap it out it's taller which a whole lot taller maybe a good thing maybe a bad thing this this one that we have I'm gonna use it the one that we have there it's about gone is uh just about it's just perfect because the lid won't crush any further than that because all the bottles that we keep in there, the, all the tall ones, the tallest ones we keep, the uh, liquid plumber, the bleach, all that kind of stuff, 